Edison, New Jersey, Mr. Gary Alexander, a 10th degree black belt in Ishinru Karate with an extensive background in Jiu Jitsu. He was the author of the book, Unarmed and Dangerous, and has a series of training videos to his credit. He was the first man to win the Masayama World Championship held in Madison Square Garden, New York, and was inducted into the Hall of Fame by Black Belt Magazine. This tough ex-Marine has been a leader in the karate world for three decades. Hi, my name's Gary Alexander. Uh, the best way to sum up my background experiences in the martial arts is that I spent 35 years of intensive involvement in all directions. As a champion in the early days, instructing military, Marine recons, law enforcement personnel, quite a few thousands of men, women, and children essentially trying to develop healthier, more capable Americans would be the theme. Essentially, at this point in time, out of our school in Edison, New Jersey here, this is our headquarters for our, our international association. We try to maintain the ethical standards, the integrity, the chivalry of, of the martial arts, in the sense that we want karate, martial laws to be exactly what they were designed to be, and that is, one, a way of life, a method of survival, if you have to go hand-to-hand -hand against a, an adversary. We want it to be a way for people to develop some of the life, life qualities, confidence, coordination, discipline, leadership, and these things do happen if a student is involved enough and dedicated enough to work hard towards developing themselves through the martial arts. Um, basically, we are very strong in the area of ethical martial arts practices. Uh, as I said, we started back around 1957, 58, 59. In those days, there wasn't money in the martial arts. Okay, what that essentially says is that people that started in that day and age, a lot of your pioneers were in it because of the love of the martial arts and for respect of the martial arts and perhaps looking for a better mousetrap, so to speak, a better way of staying in shape, uh, a very hybrid form of combative arts, um, something different, something a little bit mystical perhaps. But in retrospect, I'm finding now that the mysticism revolves more around intensive hard work, 
That's the magic of the martial arts. Okay, there's no such thing as putting a microchip in your brain and being a black belt. There's no, no easy way to gain a, a black belt. In this day and age, you probably go out and buy a one-year black belt, but it's worth exactly that. One year's worth of training at whatever level the person trained at. To be a black belt takes years of intensive training, dedication, and development within the martial arts. And for a student or a practitioner that has good integrity, the rewards are many. Thank you very much.